and welcome Korea Overland brothers and sisters. How are you today? My name is Ben and we are back for another Korea Overlanding gear review. That's right. Um, <clears throat> I have in this little box here uh, one item that I have been wanting for quite a while and it was not cheap. That is for sure. Um, but I feel like the added expense will provide me with a sense of longevity in the item and hopefully I will have this for many, many a year. Stay tuned everybody for the James Brand Ellis Pocket Knife Review. Welcome back everybody. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications coming your way 4 p.m. Sunday KST Korea Standard Time for all of your Korea overlanding video needs. That's right. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, in terms of this particular item, I have not had a pocket knife for a very, very long time probably not since university. And um, I decided that I needed to have something on me when I either went hiking or when I was going camping. And I didn't have anything. Um, I thought about getting an actual um, uh, non-folding blade, like a hunting type knife, one that was, you know, handle and blade were together like this. Um, but I opted not to do that just because of issues in Korea in terms of knife length. Um, I wasn't really sure how long the blade ought to be, and I didn't want to get myself into trouble. Um, I think there is a blade length restriction, and uh, this blade uh, had no problems coming in through customs uh, from the United States. So I know that this blade at least is okay. Um, now, let me just say that um, I am not a knife guy. Um, if you want a real in-depth, detailed, holy cow type of review, this is probably not the one for you. Um, but in terms of practicality, I think I can fill that gap for you. Um, <clears throat> let's open this bad boy up. Now, um, I did order some swag stickers as well. Uh, these are them right here. And they're, you know, five extra bucks for some nice stickers. Um, and I really, <clears throat> I really like this. I really like this one here. Um, these are, I like collecting these stickers because, of course, as time goes on and I start, you know, I start getting, getting my stuff put together properly, I can add these lovely cool stickers to pieces of equipment and things like that. So uh, whenever you have a chance to spend a little bit of extra money in a company, um, get, get some extra swag stickers. It's just cool. I mean, we all have like iPhones, for example, and you know you love the little stickers that come with it. Come on, of course you do. Um, <clears throat> it's just that extra little thing. Now, I will say, I will leave a link uh, for the company and for the knife uh, down in the description below and also if this product or one of the uh, James's products you actually like um, there is a uh, you can type in your email and you will get a welcome 10 discount code uh, that's not my code but that's something from the website itself from the company itself and that will give you a uh, 10% off your first purchase. So I just want to let you know about that. Now, this comes in a very nice clean black box. I mean, this is a nice looking package. Um, I have opened it up a couple of times actually to show people before the unboxing. So this is the reboxing unboxing, I guess. Um, 
And so this is what, uh, it comes with the little sleeve here. And then <clears throat> over there, it has this nice little uh, embossed, modern, minimal, minimal, everyday carry. I don't know if you can see that, but it is on there. I'll throw some B-roll up there, of course, uh, as we're going through to give you a little bit more uh, uh, finesse and finagle on, on this sort of product. So it comes with a little paper tab. You just pop this right open, and I'm going to do this carefully because I will need to reclose it all up to do the B-roll. Um, and then this is what you first see here. So this is the inside of the box there. Obviously, this is the knife here. Inside here, we have a set of instructions on, uh, I believe this is warranty and knife care. So we have this right here as well. And we have this phrase, modern, minimal, everyday carry. Um, it kind of going through as one of the main themes. Now, um, <clears throat> this is considered an EDC knife, not necessarily an outdoor knife. And <clears throat> that might be uh, that phrase. If I'm, if I'm saying that phrase, it might not resonate with you a whole lot. Um, but EDC stands for Everyday Carry, and it's something that is very, very popular. It has a very large um, group of predominantly men uh, involved in that. You can check that out online. I am actually, um, have been spending the last several weeks um, researching EDC in conjunction with overlanding and trying to understand some of that history uh, I'm going to be putting a video about that. Uh, I'm going to be putting a video about that uh, up on the channel. I just haven't had the time uh, to actually create the video because there's so much information and so much detail to go through. So it's taking me a little bit of time. So don't forget, remember, hit, uh, stay notified on the channel because that will uh, be coming up uh, very soon. <clears throat> now, in the box itself, we have the blade, of course, and I'm going to just pop that out. And this here is, <clears throat> actually this here doesn't, oh yeah, okay. So this in here is not removable. It's, it's really in there. But this here is all paper. It's not plastic. And it's actually very cool because it's got, um, like they've literally cut out the shape of the knife with the paper and they've stacked the paper on top of each other. Um, again, B-roll. But it will, it's a really interesting, just a really interesting little design in the box. I know it's just a box, it, it, but you know, boxes do lend to the overall experience of the unboxing and the product use. It, it, it starts with the box, so there's nothing wrong with a good box. Um, okay. Here's the little item. Now, here's my hand here, and this basically can fit mostly in the palm of my hand, okay? So it's not a particularly big knife, but it's not supposed to be. Um, it's not one of those knives that I would be using to uh, put on a piece of wood and bang through, uh, you know, to chop a, a branch off. It's not that sort of thing. This is a utility knife. That's all this is. and. For me here, for me particularly, a utility knife was the best way to go. Um, I don't think a hunting knife is, it's not really something that I need at this point. Um, I might need it in the future after I do a few trips and realize that I do need one, so I'll buy one. But I have other things that will help me. But for little things around the camp, this sort of utility knife, I think, will do exactly what I need it to do. Now, uh, a couple of features on this knife. First of all, it does come in three different colors. Uh, so if you want to have a different, uh, it comes with black. And then when with the black, then instead of stainless steel, it comes with uh, blackened steel, I believe. It's, it's a black color. Maybe it's carbon, I'm not sure. Um, Again, those, that stuff is all on the website. You can check that out. It's fine. 
Um, what does this have? Well, there are one, two, three, four, four things in particular that this knife has that I feel are good pieces to the knife, right? They're, these are things that I know that I will need. The first you can see right up at the very top. This is a bottle opener slash pry slash screw driver. So it gives you something. Uh, it's kind of like that uh, little screwdriver piece in a Swiss Army knife, right? Except it's just inside and locked in and it's just a part of the unit. It's not a separate piece that unfolds. So I like that. It's not something that I would use all the time. Generally not if I need a screwdriver, I usually have equipment with me that would actually, you know, I'd use a screwdriver instead if I needed one. <clears throat> belt clip. Belt clip is great. Have you ever had the situation where you've had a pocket knife in your pocket, but it's just a little bit too heavy and cumbersome and you feel that one side of your pants are a little bit pulled down by that? This is great because it slips over the pocket and hangs at the pocket edge. So the knife is inside the pocket, right? It's inside the pocket, but it's not down at the bottom. So you're not going to get holes in your jeans, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from something like this. So it's a good little, it's a good little tool to have. Uh, clips are definitely a nice add-on. Now, the last two things here I'm going to show you is the blade itself. Now it has these semi-locking, uh, a semi-locking system here um, where you have to kind of pull it out twice. One, two, and this is fairly firm. I mean, obviously you're going to be cutting this way anyway, uh, so you're not going to uh, accidentally like flip uh, the blade. However, um, what I like about this is that it actually is almost like two knives in one because you can see that there is a serrated edge here. There's a serrated edge and then there's a straight edge as well. And this is going to be really nice if you do happen to require something a little more heavy duty for something uh, rather than just the simple straight blade. Now, for you people out there who actually do know what knives are, um, this, and I'm going to read this right from the website, we have updated the construction of the Ellis into a slip joint design to make it easier to use. The new Ellis also features a new deep carry wire clip, as well as our all things scraper, flathead screwdriver, and pry tool. The Ellis is built around a partially serrated Swedish Sandvik 12C27 stainless steel blade and is available in two scale options. Okay, so now this uh, 12C27 um, uh, stainless steel apparently is really, really good. It has a hardness range of 54 to 61. Um, the higher the number that you have, the higher hardness of steel, the better quality it is. Uh, it has high toughness, uh, sharpness, good corrosion resistance, um, and uh, is generally a well-used type of metal. So for all of you uh, knife geeks out there, there you go. Um, for me, I'm not a knife guy. Like I said, I, haven't, I don't really have that focus on blades per se. Um, if, you know, if somebody says it's a good metal, I'm just, I'm just going to trust them because I have no idea. I'm, I'm not a metallurgist or anything. So I'm assuming it's good. Um, the next thing, fold that back here. The next thing that it does have that I do want is a good pair of scissors. Now I've got a pair of scissors back there. You can see them, my trunks there, but these scissors, this is what sold me on the knife actually, because this is a very cool design. Now I like, does that show up? Maybe not. Do, 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 do. Maybe not. It might not get the, 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 um, the focus might not come in quite fast enough. Uh, again, I'll be roll. Uh, but this has a really nice hinge mechanism on it. I really like this. When I saw this on YouTube, it's like, that's the knife I want. Cause that, that, this, this scissors, these scissors. Oh yeah. They're, 
They're nice. Um, this other nice little feature here, it's got a little, a little mini thumb pad right here. So you have something to press down on other than just the piece of metal here itself, which is thinner. So it gives you something to, to press. I, I just like that. It's just a neat little feature. It's one of those added extras, you know, as a bonus feature on the, on the blade itself or on the scissors itself. Now, these things cut really well. Um, let me, I'm gonna use, <clears throat> I'm gonna use this here, okay? So uh, I'm not gonna cut through the plastic. Well, maybe I'm gonna try. So here we go here. So here's the, here's, a, now this is, a, this is an old one, so I'm gonna use it. And I'm just going to cut through There we go. Just trying to make it as straight as I can. There we go. So it's not perfectly straight, but you can see just there that the edge of the cut is actually pretty good. Uh, and it even cut through this without having any problems at all. So the scissors are nice and sharp. Um, the hinge on this looks particularly strong, which, you know, for a pair of scissors, you, you want to have that. And that's the clipping sound from the from the uh, the pair of scissors itself. So all in all, I think this is a very good knife. Now, cost wise, um, I you have to buy this from the actual website. Uh, I tried looking on Amazon; they didn't have it. Uh, nor did anything uh, like Naver or such here in Korea. They didn't have this type of item either. So you do have to buy directly from the company. It is uh, shipped over by Federal Express um, and it does cost a fair amount. Uh, the knife itself is $119 US. Uh, and then I added the stickers on, so that was 124, but I got 10% off, so it took me down to, I think, $107, I believe is what that was. But I had to add another $50 or so for shipping. Um, so the shipping cost is going to be almost a third of the cost that you'll spend on the knife. So when I factor in $150 to this knife, do I think it's a worthwhile cost? Yes, I do. Because a good knife is probably going to run you a little bit of money and you're going to have it for a long time. You know, you can buy cheap, but cheap isn't going to last you and cheap isn't going to help you when you need it the most. Now, I'm not an advocate necessarily for buying the most expensive items all the time, but a good knife is something that I don't want to chintz on. You know, I don't want to skimp out on a good knife. And I would recommend if you do have more uh, blade knowledge or metal knowledge and you know what you want to look for, um, then, you know, put a comment down below and tell me uh, what I should be looking for in my next knife. If I am looking for a fixed blade rather than a switch uh, flip blade like I have now, um, what would you recommend? There's, there's so much out there and I really don't, uh, I, I really don't know. Um, I, I'm not a professional knife person, so I don't know. But if you have a, a recommendation for a fixed blade that I can use, you know, put on my belt uh, as I'm at the campground, um, then let me know. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. Okay, that's it for the unboxing and my, my two cents on the blade. I love this little thing, and now that I've unboxed it, I can actually put it in my pocket. Yay! All right, that's it for me. Don't forget, everybody, sub and hit the bell for further notifications. Sunday, 4 p.m. KST, Korea Overland videos will drop for you. Take care, everybody, and have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye-bye.